Citadel's kingdom. Last time we saw just how massive Citadel is and all of their private funds, most of them located in the Cayman Islands, which we all know to probably evade taxes. So what, is, what has caused this organization of Citadel, this mechanism, so to speak, that literally has become the very market that we trade in? What is the cause of it? Well, payment for order flow. Let's take a look. So, just until recently, no one had heard of this guy, right? He, was in, he operates in the darkness. He's, he's one of the men behind the curtain, so to speak. But in January, when the events that unfolded happened, he went ahead and broke the rules. He said that he had nothing to do with the, the trading being stopped, but that's bullcrap, because as we know, payment for order flow is the reason Robinhood exists in the first place. So seeing that moment of weakness in this guy shows us that he's scared, that he had to break the rules in such an obvious way that look where we are today. So if we start looking at this like a boss fight, like how they said it was, you know, they turned it on retail, said we're gamifying trading because of how Robinhood's app layout looks. Let's go ahead and do that. We can think of this like a game, and he's going to be our end boss, and his health is going to be his portfolio value. Now, this is where it gets a little, you know, a little disturbing, but bear with me. Because if we can successfully drain his feeder funds, which we'll take, we're going to take a look at in part three, then we'll know we're at least making progress. So this is how we know that his statement in 2021 was bullcrap, because... In 2020, payment for order flow was 70% of Robinhood's revenue, and as we all know, Citadel gets a big chunk of Robinhood's revenue. So while Robinhood is a feeder fund in and of itself to Citadel, his performance wasn't all that great right before COVID, because as we can see here, between September 30th of 2018 and December, his portfolio took a big hit. And then all of a sudden, around the middle, beginning of uh, 2019, right before COVID became a thing, volume started kicking off in the markets. Robin had launched their referral program. Um, everything was going good. Traffic was increasing. Payment for order flow was paying. And then all of a sudden, as soon as COVID hits, as soon as the Fed starts taking over as a lender in the repo market, he doubles his portfolio in about a year and a half. So during a pandemic, he has been taking advantage of businesses, people, as they're losing their jobs, as they're dying from an unknown illness of unknown origin. They thought they'd lure in retail and take what little we had left through our investments. So if this doesn't piss you off and want you to hold even more, just wait till we look at part three. Because you see these right here? These are all of his little feeder funds. He has some masters and then Citadel Tactical. These four are the feeders. So what we're going to do in the part three is we're going to look at all these and see how they've been performing this year. Because while it looks on paper that Citadel's been doing good, Citadel Advisors, you know, the head of the snake, may not be the case for some of these. Because as he loses funds, he's going to consolidate and pull back. And I guarantee you by the end of things, we could see these drop off one by one. Till next time.